Good afternoon everyone, how you doing? This is Mr. Ray, and you're watching the Mr. Ray Show. I have something very special for you all today. Something that I've told you about a few times, a few videos ago. I have a very special interview today with the WWE legend, Mr. Bill Eady, better known to wrestling fans as Demolition's Axe. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing fine. That's great to hear. Okay. I just had a couple of questions for you, and if that's okay with you. It's your show, my friend. Yes, sir. Okay. Who were you trained by when you started your career? I was trained by uh, a gentleman called Guido Mongol. Okay. His real name was Newton Ted. Uh, okay. Okay. Out of all the, the gimmicks that you performed under, which one was your favorite? Well, I enjoyed the uh, demolition character. And I also enjoyed the uh, Mass Superstar. Okay. Okay. Out of all the wrestling promotions you performed perform with, which one was your favorite and why? Mid-Atlantic because of the uh, promoter there uh -huh. was George Scott. Right. And he, he actually gave them my first break. And Japan uh -huh. because I was there for uh, 13 years plus. Right. And then of course Georgia. Okay. I made my home in Georgia. Okay. Whose idea was it to form the team of Demolition? Well, it was a combination of uh, Vince and myself uh -huh. and then, of course, Barry. Okay. Okay. My next question is, what was the reason, the reason or reasons Crush was added to the group? Well, I was going to move into the office. Uh-huh. I was going to take a position as an agent. Okay. It just did not uh, materialize. Okay. My next question is, who was your stiffest, your stiffest opponent? My what? Your stiffest opponent. My wife will kill me. She probably is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, I would uh, uh -huh. go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. I would say some of the guys in Japan, perhaps. Okay. But but nothing you couldn't handle. Yes, sir. Who was your favorite opponent? That's difficult. Uh, <laughs> we had uh, uh -huh. many many good opponents. Okay. I would hate to pick out one. Right. <laughs> out of all of your title reigns, which one stands out for you the most? That's difficult because you're you're, you're active. You don't really think about it at the time. Uh -huh. uh, you have to wait till after the years have gone by. Uh, I think the tag team championship, but of course, then I had. Uh, Single belts right. as a mass superstar. Yes, sir. Okay, if you weren't a successful pro wrestler, what career would you have chosen? Uh, excuse me? If you weren't a successful pro wrestler, what other career would you have chosen? Well, I'm a teacher. I, I'm teaching now. Okay. I taught before I got into wrestling. Okay. What? And of course, I was a coach of coach of football and track. Okay, are you? What grades are you teaching in in subject? I 
I teach special education nine through twelve. Oh, okay, that's that's awesome. What are your thoughts on the wrestling business today? To be honest, I don't really uh, keep up with it because I'm, I'm up too early. I have to get up at 5 o'clock and start uh -huh. school at 7. Uh -huh. So the shows are on late at night. Right. But I'm sure that the, the talent is, is just as good or better. I just don't follow it. Oh, okay, that's understandable. You're a busy man. Do you have any advice for aspiring wrestlers? Do I have any what? Advice for aspiring wrestlers that's looking up to, to start a, in the wrestling business. Uh, there again, I, I don't want to make any judgments because I don't really know anybody. Okay. Okay, and my final question is, do you have any final words for all of your legions of fans? Well, I appreciate the fans, and uh, when when Smash and I go out on appearances, uh, we just love to speak with them uh -huh. and uh, catch up on some old stories. Yes, sir. And it's always uh, uh, nice to hear that we made an impact on their life. Yes, sir. You surely have made an impact on my life as a well, long-time nice. wrestling fan. And, and I just want to thank you for your time. I know you a bit, you're a busy man. Thank you for taking some time out your day to speak with me. And I appreciate it. It's my pleasure, my friend. I look forward to speaking to you more when you have the chance. All right. Thank you for coming on my show. I appreciate it. No problem. I enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. I want to thank Mr. Bill Eady for coming on my show and talking to me and just like he said he's a a great guy he's a school teacher you know he does great things so I just want to thank him for taking time out of his day and I will see y'all all very soon with another interview more videos and y'all always remember to live, laugh, learn, and stay positive. Stay positive. I'll see y'all soon. Thank you. This is Ray, and you're watching the Mr. Ray Show.